for a few years now, I've been training myself in two areas of life. Number one, when the power of God is present, don't let the devil be in charge. Did you hear me? Second, I'm training myself to learn that if I'm to practice faith, I should stop fake. I do not believe I can say to God, help me do this, this. And I say, but let me do my best first. If I fail, then you help me. But if not, let me do it. The reason many Christians are in trouble every time is that they don't know the difference between faith and fake. They try to say, well, I believe God will do it, but I know I can do it better than God. I have tried severally to see if I can improve on what God is not able to do. I've only succeeded once. All the time I tried to do it better than God, I've succeeded once, and that once was when I failed. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said. I've tried every time to help God do it better. And only once I succeeded, and that once I failed. So I've now learned to say no. I should give God first and second chance before I come in to help him. And I found that, <laughs> are you with me today? <laughs> I found that every time I give God opportunity to do something for me, it's never done twice. Did you hear me? Yeah. It's never done twice. And I also found, Dr. Haverson, you can't improve on God. That's right. That's right. Say it, I can't improve on God. I can't, improve on God. I can't do it better than God. So what does that mean? I'm learning now to say, rather than me, try to tell God how to do it, when to do it. I should just come to him with humble heart and say, God, help me. Help me. Put your hand on this, my life need. Help me. Let me give you chance to see how far you can go. Then if you are not able, then I can join you to do it. And every time I let him do it like that, when I come back, he's finished it. I have not succeeded yet to give God a backup. I try. I try. When I used to be in charge, so many failures. But since I learned to say, God, okay, you be number one and number two. And when you fail, send for me. You, you understand what I'm talking about. You must have got the revelation of what I'm trying to say. Every time I say, God, do it first. And when you fail, send for me. When I come back, I have nothing to do. And that's painful. Very painful. Because I like to see that God is helped. But he doesn't give me opportunity to help him. And I'm sorry for myself. Why can't he wait when he fails, then I help him? <laughs> Say, God, God, from now, now I, put I put you first and last. And last. Now, where will you fit in? <laughs> Do they understand English? <laughs> Say, God, from now, From now I, put I put you first and last. And last. 
this girl must understand English. <laughs> and now, if God is first and last, what number are you? One, I guess. I don't know. When there was schooling, this woman wasn't born yet. So, <laughs> now, if God is first and last, what you are an intelligent man. So, <laughs> let's find out. Let, 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 let's see. He's very intelligent. Look at him. You can just see by the dress. You can tell it. He he's failed already. No need to ask him. <laughs> if he's first and he's last, what number am I? Say none. none. You can't be number two. The reason many of us fail in our lives endeavor is that we put we say god you are in charge then we come around and say don't do all <laughs> just try some then let me do the rest and everything we try to help god do fail so learn on time that life is not god you do some i do some no that's why you can sing have your own way in my life but Lord do it for me if you live in Africa you are going to say God do it for me because blessed assurance is better than blessed insurance <laughs> are you ready now Genesis chapter 1 The first book of the Bible, if you don't know where it is, start from the book of Revelation. You'll find it. Two days ago, I, I saw somebody open Genesis chapter 1 and he went straight to Corinthians. So I said, you'll soon be there. <laughs> Verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from darkness and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day now say with me in the beginning, in the beginning God, created. God created in the beginning, in the beginning. now listen beginning God had beginning of creating in our own God, the creator and not created. You believe that? That's right. Okay. He's the creator and not created. Right. He he created all things and all things were created by him and he was not created. Yes or no? I know you went to school. Yes or no? Yes. God is the creator. Say that. God is the creator. After he, God, was established, after he became God and is God and is still God and he shall ever be God, he, in the beginning, that is the unsearchable riches of his power. You try and try and try for 6,000 years. 
Man is making effort to see when he can find out the secret of God. They went to the moon, they brought sand. <laughs> NASA has spent billions to bring something from there. But the greater they brought is rock. Nothing. They couldn't bring God here. They tried to bring him here, but they can't. And every time they try, they fail. But now, God has beginning of creating. Now, what I'm here to say today is, now that you are already in faith, you have an origin. It is time for you to use your faith in creativity. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You already a question. How creative? When have you had a foundation of beginning new process of life of creating things? There are over 200 million ideas in this single head. We are not bringing forth, we are not giving birth to what is inside us. That's why every time the saints are struggling instead of living. God in the beginning created heaven and hell. When he finished creating heaven and hell, the devil spread his hands over what God made. Now listen. You say, I don't know why I have so many troubles. I don't know why I'm so uh, pushed by the world. Somebody once said to me, why is it that the whole world is crumbling around me? I said, where is it? <laughs> he, he said, it's just crumbling around me. I said, show me the crumble. He tried and uh, uh, he said, my market is bad, my home is bad, my marriage is bad, everything I do, there are troubles here and there. I don't know what I have done. I said, you are improving. <laughs> the devil doesn't trouble dead people. Did you hear what I'm saying? I said, did you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Devil doesn't trouble dead people. Once you are pushed here and there, there's life in you. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. The only reason you have trouble in life is because you are a living being. As soon as you die, your trouble will die. So if you, want, if you don't want any trouble at all, die. <laughs> God finished creation. God created everything, life and lively. But soon you hear the creation was without form and void. How can God create dead thing? He doesn't. But why was it void? Somebody killed it. Listen to how God reacted. Listen to how God handled it. The Bible said, And the Spirit of God moved. Said the Spirit moved. To know in your life as becoming the child of God is that you possess a new spirit that handles problems than you. God didn't come down with matchet, with sword, with spirit, and say, Who made who, who turned the world void? Why is it become chaotic? Why is it void? Who did it? Who he said, No, spirit, go and find out. Spirit, go and find out. Spirit, go there. When the Spirit came, it began to move. Say, move. move. The Spirit said, what went wrong? What, 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 what happened? What killed this plant? Who took this flag away? What's wrong? What's wrong? And when the Spirit began to move, 
Then God said, I have been told in many theological places around the world, in 102 countries, I have heard preachers say, God created the heaven and earth from nothing. That's a lie of the devil. Heaven and earth did not come from nothing. Heaven and earth came from God. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. If in the beginning was God, and God created heaven and earth, heaven and earth was in God. Yeah. Say amen if you believe it or not. Yeah. I don't want you to, to use American sense to try it. If he is the beginning, and he created heaven and earth in the beginning, Heaven and earth was in him in the beginning. He brought it out. There's a dream in you. There's life in you. There's miracle in you. There's anointing in you. There's healing in you. There's finances in you. There's surplus in you. There's signs and wonders inside you. No matter how big these things in you are, until you speak them forth, you never see them come forth. Did you hear what I'm saying? Light was in God. Day was in God. Night was in God. Firmament was in God. Moon and star was in God. Everything was in God. When God now said, let there be. The Bible said, and it was so. Say it was so. Say it was so. <laughs> Say it was so. There's so many things inside you, you have not allowed to be so. Did you hear what I'm saying? There are millionaires here sitting down now, but they are living in penury. They are living in struggle. They are living without because they have not said millions. Come forth. Did you hear what I'm saying? God said, listen, listen to me. God said, how can God say comfort if it wasn't there? Listen to me. This will be clear to you. R Rhonda, come here. How many of you know this guy? Give her a hand. All right. Nearly 30 years ago. <laughs> did, did you hear me? I learned that in America years ago. Don't tell their age. You've been in trouble. All right. Nearly 30 years ago, a young man and a young woman met. When they met, one day they stood before a pastor and he asked, Will thou have this woman as thy lovely wedded wife? He said, I will. Would thou have this man as thy lovely wedded husband? He said, I will. After they said, I will, this man took this girl home. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you hear what I'm saying? He took her home. When all that came for the marriage left, he took her in. First took her home, now took her in. <laughs> After a few months, what has been there before creation? What has been there before they met? Nine months after she started bending, one day, yeah! number one, Randa. Number two, Christy, Christy, come here. Come here, Christy. Please give them a hand. Now, one, two. 
before she had them for him, they were always here. How did they become Rhonda and Christy? When this man, as the word, met this girl as the spirit, when they met together as husband and wife, this one came first, and God said, there's still one more, or another. And then this one came next. See, there are so many things inside us. Because we refuse to let the spirit and the word merge. If when this man and this girl met, after the wedding in the church, the woman went to West Coast and he went to East Coast as husband and wife. And for 30, nearly 30 years, they've been living apart. There should have been no Christy and no Rhonda. Are you hearing me? Even though they were always there. This, you have been there before they met. Do you believe that? They were, they were always there. Why couldn't they come out before they met? <laughs> because they never met. Is that a simple English? Why were they not born before they married? Because they were not married. How did they get born after they were married? Because there was a connection between the connector and the collected. Can you say amen? amen? When you take the power in the word and merge it with the spirit, answer come forth. No matter how spiritual you are, if you didn't say to what you conceive, come out, it will die inside you. The power of birth, the power of creation, only materializes when the spirit and the word become comfort. It wasn't hard for these two queens, these two women, to come out of this girl. Are you hearing my description? This queen and this queen were always there. The effort that this man and woman made was very simple. The connecting wire connected, and she gave birth. There are so many things inside you. You have never bothered to say, come forth. Joy, comfort. Miracle, comfort. You say, I don't know why I'm so sad. You are sad because you didn't let joy come out. I don't know why I'm so poor. You are poor because the wealth in you, you didn't say to prosperity, come forth. When the devil turned the world to a chaotic place, the spirit moved. But when the spirit moved, the devil never left. But when God said, who is with me? <laughs> said the spirit moved. But the world didn't change. I don't think this is an American message. <laughs> Say the spirit move. The spirit then, God said, then God said, everything you will ever need on earth is already created by God. Yeah. But now, Say now. now. It is time. Say it's time. It's time. To, call to, be. to call to be. Those things that be not. As if they were. And they shall be so. Give these queens a big hand. How can we 
avoid voidness in our life. How can we eliminate void when we send the Spirit to every situation the devil tried to destroy? The Spirit gets there with hammer. The Spirit gets there with power. The Spirit gets there with the sword of the Spirit. The Spirit is already inside you. But the Spirit cannot do anything until you say to the Spirit, Let there be. Say, Let there be. Let there be. Let there be. Let there be. How many of you are looking for finances? More than what you can spend. How many? I say, How many need more money than what they are making now? How many need more money than what they are making? Hold your hand up. Say, ah. ah. Keep it up. The only way you can have more money than what you are making is when you begin to call to be. The things that be not as if they were. Learn how to live relaxed life. Zachariah said, it's not by might. Put your hands down. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. How does the spirit bring what is, is in the spiritual? Dr. Ron, for everything we need in the natural, is already created by God in the spiritual. House is there. Car is there. Wife is there. Husband is there. But when we come to church, we are asking God for peanuts. When we need small money for hamburger, we say, Father, give me money in the name of Jesus. I claim it. I claim it. But when we need a big car, we go to the bank. When we have fever, we go to God. I rebuke you, headache, in Jesus' name. But when we have migraine, we go to doctor. So God said, oh, ho. You are giving me the small things because I'm smaller than the doctor. Learn how to put God first because in the beginning, God said, God said, God. I am trying to say to you, Pastor Ron, don't try first. After you have tried your skill, your wisdom, the board of trustees, the chairman, the advisors, the council, then you say, okay, God, help me. No. <laughs> Read me verse 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God... No, no, no. In the beginning, board. Yeah. It's board. Board of trustees. Didn't you see the board? No, I don't see it. Your Bible is not good. <laughs> In the beginning, police. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, my job. In the beginning, people. In the beginning, choir. In the beginning, tithe. In the beginning, offering. In the beginning, my brain. In the beginning, what? God. Say God. Let's return back to putting God first. Why? Jesus said, Whatsoever I hear my father say, I do. 
Jesus said, my father walk, and I walk hither too. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus said, my God sent me from above not to do my will, but the will of him that sent me. Amen. Say with me, I came not to do my will, but the will of him that sent me. I have recently learned, Dr. Ron, that there's nothing I can do well that God can't do better. I pray that this message, as it has spoken to me, will speak to you. I used to bring God in when I'm tired. When I have struggled and tried, we need piano. God, where do we? Oh, excuse me. All members wait. We need piano. Then we fail. Uh, uh, Sister Gamba, we, we have been looking for piano for three years. No money. Uh, help me. She said, I'm looking for money for grocery. And then when she failed, at the end of it all. And then I say, let's pray. <laughs> Father, <laughs> we need piano. <laughs> I have now learned before I write to you. That's why you have never received one begging letter from me. Even though I live in Africa. I refuse to make God number two. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you hear what I'm saying? We have run from this verse. We have always said... In the beginning, me. In the beginning, my job. In the beginning, my salary. People who refuse to live by miracle will die sweating. Try not to give God second chance. Don't sweat and sweat and sweat when you're already frustrated, confused, and your case is now in terminal situation. When you're already in coma, then they resuscitate you. Then you say, oh God, God, now you can help me. <laughs> no! While you are still alive, brilliant, smart, Say God. Everybody say God. God. In my marriage, God. Say God. God. For my home. God. For my job. God. For what I need. God. When I don't know what to do. God. When I'm tired. God. When I'm weak. God. When I'm rich. God. When I'm poor. God. Everybody say God. God. Try God. Try God. When things are not moving well, try God. When you are weak, try God. When you are in trouble, try God. Don't make God number two. Make God number one. In the beginning, God. In the beginning, Pastor, in the beginning, God. We are failing so much because we do not remember that in the beginning. Amen. Everything you need was created by Him. Amen. So when you need anything today, merge the Spirit with the Word. Yeah. And when the Spirit moves, let the Word call it to be. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Healing is in the spirit. But it has to be manifested in the natural. Power is in the spirit. It has to be manifested in the natural. 
prosperity is already there i didn't come to america to study prosperity i found that jesus didn't die so that i can prosper he was already i was already prosperous before jesus was born are you hearing me people say when people say when you join faith movement you will prosper it's not true you can join anything you will die but if you join jesus you will live somebody say i will live in the beginning god i learned now rather than call god when i have failed i call him before i start Amen. am i making sense to you yes. i say am i making sense to you yes. don't make god your last resort make him your first resort if you put him first you don't struggle too much Amen. don't 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 say well i try first no pastor this thing hit me god said benson why do why do you try first after you have failed with bruises and injuries after you have accidented yourself before you begin to cry he said you could have done it by smile if you put me first and there are many successes inside you that are not born yet because you have never said success come forth miracle comfort abundant comfort life comfort god asked me one day say how many ministries do you need i name all i said i want a bible college i want hospital i want schools i want tv i want i went to the church after god asked me i told god all i went to the board i said i told god we want this we want this we want this they said to me where will we have the money every time you seek the opinion of your head and the opinion of the people you find no answer because sometimes the person you are telling your problem have more problem than you <laughs> so i went back to god i said father i have just told them all that i told you tv churches bible college radio newspaper evangelism schools hospital i said i told them and they asked me where would the money come from he said to me where did the vision come from <laughs> if god gives a vision he makes provision Amen. don't try first then when you fail, you say, God, come in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We have turned ourselves to barren people because we are waiting to see if at the end we may need God. No. Start on time. I say start on time. Amen. So many of you are qualified millionaires, but you have no money. You live in pain. Because you have never learned to say money, come forth. How many of you are qualified women that have reached the age of having a husband, but no man greets you? No man have ever said to you, I'd like to marry you. No woman have said to you, I, I want to marry you because you have never said, God, I speak my husband to be. I speak my wife to be. The Bible says, what things soever ye shall ask the Father. It's that, that's, that's limitlessness. Don't wait until... <laughs> don't, don't fast and pray, fast and pray and say, God, let a man speak to me. No. If you are in this church and you are spirit-filled and you are born again and you are in Christ, look around. <laughs> look around 
don't go too far. Just look around. Look around, and as you find the man, you think he will be a good husband and a friend and a brother and a husband. If he didn't speak to you, speak to him. <laughs> you think that's offensive? It's not. It's not. Call to be. Don't die in struggle. Die asking God. And there is nothing in your life I'm in my life. You are going to say, God, help me do it. And he says, I wish you came five years ago. When I used to be God. But now there's recession. <laughs> in the beginning, God. Say beginning, God. Yeah. Let me tell you what I'm after this morning. Become a Christian that put God in the beginning of everything. How many are tired of making God their last resort and they want quick resort? Stand up. If you are tired of not getting answers, but you want God to become all in all, Come forward. Come forward. I say come forward. If you are tired of getting answers late, listen to me while you are coming forward. I, as God's own servant and minister, it took me years, <laughs> it took me years, Dr. Harvison, to discover that many of the things I wouldn't have fumbled at, I fumbled at them because I made God last. John chapter 2 verse 11. This beginning of miracle did Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. In creation, for light to come, light was already in existence, but God said, let there be. So I found out that without going to mysticism, without going to occult, without going to spiritual world, without entering to demon kingdom, I can make God my beginning. 